Hello, fabulous Virgo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of August 2014, Love Focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. This month, as I looked at the sky for you, I do think where it comes to love, it is the new moon taking place in your sign that really is going to be the most important. Now, next month, we have a full moon taking place in your opposite sign, which will be even more significant in the context of love. However, what is taking place at this new moon, also very important where it comes to love. When a new moon takes place in your sign, it is your personal new year. And it is a chance for you to really consider who you really are, what you really want, what matters to you most, and especially what matters or people or things or ideas, concepts are really closest to your heart. I say concepts, but really considering it is the moon, there's a highly emotional nature to it. So it isn't always what you think you want. It's what you know. It's what you feel that matters to you most. Now, this particular uh, new moon is standing across the sky from Neptune. And Neptune is in your opposite sign. And what happens in your opposite sign? Your sign is sort of what you're projecting out onto the world. What's happening in your opposite sign speaks to what you're attracting back. And so it is often associated with partnerships and love as well. And so when we have Neptune, you've got the slow move of Neptune through your opposite sign. When we have Neptune doing this, this does tend to suggest a time when... It is very possible that who it is that you think you are, what it is that you think matters to you most is connected to a partner and possibly, or if you want to take it a little bit more meta, if you will, is associated with your understanding of your attractability, your understanding of whom you believe you can attract, your understanding of yourself in partnership. And so this becomes a time when you would be looking at yourself and it wouldn't just be, this is who I am and this is what I want. But another person is, is figuring into this understanding um, in important ways. And so whether it is that you are single and you realize or you've had a connection with somebody or you've had a flirtation with somebody and you realize that, hey, love really matters to me. This is something I want. Or you had an interaction, a connection with somebody and you saw things within you that you didn't like. This is your chance to say, that's not who I am. And I think that that actually, in the context of love, is going to be one of the more common understandings that a lot of people of your sign are going to have. With Neptune, Neptune is um, not something that's easy to grasp. Neptune shows us uh, where our dreams may be, but also our illusions may be. It, there's not a lot of clarity with Neptune. There is a lot of inspiration and hope and fantasy and ideas. But because this is Neptune standing opposite a new moon in your sign and you are being represented by that new moon, there is an element here of you maybe um, realizing where you've been carried away on a dream, on a fantasy, especially where it came to love, where maybe you haven't been seeing somebody else accurately and how that is going to speak to you and your understanding of self really is the focus. But it does look like, or whether it's an interaction with another person that you were looking at and thinking, oh, wow, this could really be somebody for me. I think that this is me. This is a moment that returns you to yourself, that returns you to a sense of power in yourself as well. And I think it's going to end up being incredibly valuable for you. It's going to end up being something that really helps you to expand a sense of your own ability to empower yourself and to move your life in a much more stable direction. And so if you are someone in an established bond, you know, I, I got to say, this is almost like you being possibility of you being disappointed in something by the other person. But this ultimately is going to lead you to have a deeper understanding of self and where it is maybe that you can practice greater independence. And that becomes especially true given that this particular new moon after speaking with Neptune, we'll move on and speak in harmony with Saturn and Mars. So this tells me there's an element here of you working it out. Whatever it is that's happening, whatever ends up disappointing you, whatever triggers the feelings, 
ultimately leads to your empowerment and leads to your stability. It leads to you making changes that move you in a direction that ultimately is filled with self-respect and self-knowledge and a stronger grounding in who you are and making choices from that place that are going to empower you now and for a very long time to come. So this is a bit of a balancing that's taking place, a bit of a reality check that's taking place for you, but ends up empowering you tremendously, ends up showing you where it is that maybe you need to practice a little bit, a greater sense of self, a greater sense of independence, and have a deeper appreciation of your own power as well. Where it is that you are in a situation where there's somebody in your sphere, it's not necessarily that you have a, a relationship with this person, but there is somebody in your sphere, this particular uh, new moon is going to show you where maybe you've been getting a little carried away, maybe where you had projected a lot of things onto people. I mean, really, Neptune... In your opposite sign, one of the lessons is projection. What are you projecting and what is actually there? And that's going to be particularly important at this new moon because you being aware of what you're projecting and what is real ends up really helping you tremendously to open up on a very deep level and helps you tremendously to move towards a love that is grounded, that is balanced. But ultimately, what you perceive here is going to help you to make a decision. And it looks like you have that grounding and that understanding of what action you can take to help yourself in this process. And that's what I really like. I like that whatever it is ultimately that you see makes you stronger and you realize that it makes you stronger very, very quickly. Those of you not currently in an established bond, this is going to be a moment that allows you to not only be honest with yourself, not only have this deep sense of appreciation, but there's also an element here as I look at this that what I find interesting about this, if you are single, that if you have been sort of... It isn't about somebody being in your sphere, but if you've had sort of these um, heightened expectations of what love should be... Or if you've sort of had um, somebody who's way off in a distance and you've been projecting a lot of things onto them, this is going to be a moment that really returns you to yourself in a very important way. But more than that, it does look like the possibility of you having some sort of interaction that helps you become aware of how much you either project or where it is. And I think this is really major if you are single where it is that your expectations are real and where it is that maybe they might not be and what that says about you and what you can do to change within yourself so that you're moving yourself towards a love that is genuine, that really matters to you, a love that is stable and strong and a love that is likely to bring greater stability in your life as well. And so you are making some major decisions based on your understanding of where it is that you maybe have some expectations that are not reasonable to have. Now, we all can have this at times. As I said, you're in this extended period of learning about this at this time. However, I do think that ultimately, because this is a new moon in your sign, this ends up empowering you tremendously. Keep the focus on you this month. It is about you understanding who you are and what you need to do. Next month, there'll be lots of activity happening in the love area of life. And there is this month as well. But I do think that if you can connect with who you are and have that sense of self-knowledge now, you're much more likely to make decisions next month and to make decisions that move you powerfully towards the kind of love that you deserve and a greater love than you've known before. Thank you for watching. It'll be a great month. Be fabulous and enjoy.